Hi there. Today's topic is on vocabulary. And at the end of today's lesson, you should be able to read passages on registers based on different subjects, identify new words from these passages, and also explain the meaning of new words. Are you ready? Then let's begin. On Friday morning, Jane started to feel sick. Her throat hurt. Her nose was running. Her mum took her to the hospital and the doctor took Jane's temperature. Jane was hot. She had a fever. The doctor gave her mum some medicine to give to her. They went home and Jane took a nap. When she woke up, she ate soup and she started to feel a little better. Now from the passage, we can find two new words. Temperature and fever. Now what do they mean? Temperature is how hot or how cold a person is, while fever is having a temperature above the normal range of the human body. Now let us find new words from another passage. Cholera epidemic. Cholera is an infection caused by ingestion of food or water contaminated with the cholera bacteria. The number of people infected by cholera is rising. Cholera infections have been caused by the heavy rains that have swept germs into the open wells. The germs have contaminated the drinking water. Cholera can lead to diarrhea, vomiting, dehydration, and sometimes even death. This year, the disease has infected a lot of people. Health workers are educating people about cholera. They are warning people about the dangers of cholera and how to avoid getting the disease. Now, from the passage, we can find some new words, which are cholera. This is a bacterial disease. Germs. These are microorganisms that cause diseases. An open well. This is a hole in the ground that allows access to water underground. Health workers. This is a person or people trained to provide health care services and treatment. Diarrhea. This is usually loose and watery stool. Vomiting. This refers to the forceful letting out of the stomach's contents through the mouth. Dehydration. This is a huge loss of body fluid that affects the normal way the body functions. And finally, disease. This is a disorder of structure or function in a human. Now, today we learned about new words from passages about medicine. And now, it's assessment time.